Bella the Builder. And today, we're building stuff, because I'm Bella the Builder. This is my fish, guacamole. He's saying hello and fish. We are building something spectacular, spontaneous, beautiful, they're amazing, and colorful today. Guac is saying that he is extremely excited. All right, I'm gonna reach down here and grab it. Balloons, we're making balloons today. Balloon animals today. Um, so, never made this. Okay, I'm gonna open the box, um, like, like so. All right, my canvas is here. This, oh, it blows air. Oh, there's one more thing. Oop, pop it out like that. All right, it's in, it, um, uh, so I am think, oh, yes, that is why I am Bella the Builder. Oh, look at that. You see that guac has a fun tip. Use a marker to create faces. So you can be like, or like, or like, so you can create, create them. Guac, which one do you think we should make? We could do, um, ooh, what about a fish? You want a friend? He said no, he does not want a friend. Okay, would you like to make a giraffe? He said yes. We are making a giraffe, though it is on the first level. Um, just an FYI, I am an advanced twister. I do it all. I don't really exactly know the creative direction I'm gonna go in yet, um, but uh, the draft is right there. So we're just gonna, um, uh, we're gonna do that. It doesn't come with directions. Okay, we are making progress. Oh, a little bubble. Really, use some muscles. It kind of hurts your fingers a little bit. No. So we're just gonna make a snake. Um, it is a level two. Thought it would be a little bit more challenging for Bella the Builder. So here we go. Um, uh, so I'm guessing you just... So our creative boat has taken off somewhere else. So this is what we're gonna, this is one of the hardest creations to make. So uh, I, I'm i advanced. So sometimes with advancement, there's technical. What I found to be helpful is to leave room to tie. So tie it one more time. Um, full harder than I thought, but then you have a snail. I know it doesn't um, really look like much, but this is my snail. They're very, this is my snail. His name is um, Pablo. I love Pablo. He's my, my best friend. What was that? Guacamole, you know I love you. Guac is um, having a little bit of trouble um, with my friend here. Guacamole, don't use that tone with me. He is very upset, we might have to cut it. He is a balloon animal, he's not real. You're my best friend. It's deflating, look. Our love is alive, God's love for you is alive. It's okay, you know why? Because we were created to be loved by God. Because in 1 John, 419, we were created by God to be loved. And that ends today's episode of Bella the Builder. Hey guys, Pastor Danny here. You just saw our very first episode of Bella the Builder, and I thought that was so funny. Guac got jealous. Bella built her little balloon snail thing, whatever that was, and Guac got so jealous she felt like that the snail was taking his place in Bella's heart. But the truth of the matter is this, Bella loved that goofy little balloon snail. It wasn't even like a good balloon animal. In fact, snails aren't even that interesting of an animal, but Bella loved her snail. And the reason that Bella loved her snail is not because that snail 
does things for her. It's not because the snail is funny or fun to hang out with. It's not because the snail does anything. Bella loves that snail because she created this snail. And so he's hers. She made him. She's sort of like, the snail is her sort of work of art. And I want you to know that God loves us not because of what we can do for him, but because he created us. His love for us lies in the very fact that he created you and I. Our primary purpose is to be loved by God, is to know Him and be known by Him. It's to love God and be loved by Him. God doesn't necessarily want us to do things for Him. God doesn't love us because we can help more people know about Him, and He doesn't necessarily love us because we're great athletes or we're smart or we're beautiful or we're funny. He loves us simply because He created us. And that's why the most important thing is our personal relationship with God. God wants to know you. He wants to know what makes you happy. He wants to know what makes you sad. He wants to talk to you and he wants to hear what you think. He wants to hear what you have to say. That's why we pray. It's why we talk to him. So I just want to encourage you, below are your take-home talks for this week. It's attached. If you didn't get your card in service, we've got a Devo for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And stay tuned because on Friday we'll have another awesome video where we talk about your take-home talks. We love you. This is the link.